As you know, we have lots of parts from the TR6 now to be de-rusted and cleaned and painted. And for the rust removal, I know the best solution is the sandblasting, but uh, as you may know also, I'm rebuilding one engine of a TR6 and I don't want the whole shop to be uh, filled up with dust while somebody is sandblasting. Because dust, sand and, uh, and rebuilding an engine are not things that go together, you know. So for the small parts I wanted to uh, test this uh, electrolysis method that I watched a couple of videos about in YouTube and uh, just I wanted to try with a small bat here with uh, one part and if it worked I would go uh, and build a bigger bat for more parts at the same time to be de-rusted. So I'm not gonna explain the whole process because there are millions of videos in YouTube that explain it. I think the best one is from the Wood magazine. I'll put a link in the description because there it's explained very well how it works. I'm just gonna say that you use some water, some uh, washing soda, which unfortunately I didn't find though, and I used pH plus, which is used for um, swimming, po swimming pools, but this is basically the same thing, a uh, soda carbonate. You use a battery charger, some sacrificial pieces of metal connected with the wire all together and you connect one of the terminals, the positive terminal of the battery charger to the sacrificial pieces that are wired together and the negative goes to your piece that you want it to be derusted. So what I did today, I dipped it into the bat in the morning turn the battery charger on and I left it sitting for approximately 3 hours. It started bubbling right away so I knew that uh, the process was working. So I hoped it was gonna be de-rusted when I came back in 3 hours. At that point the sacrificial pieces were already rusty, which was a good sign. And the spring wasn't completely clean from the rust, but it was going there. So I decided to leave it for a couple more hours. So on the seventh hour I took it out. Took a small brush and cleaned it and everything that looked like rust on the spring came out very easy like it wasn't rust it was more like uh, mud and I dried it and the result was uh, very good but to be honest it wasn't very rusty to start with so tomorrow maybe I'm gonna do another trial with a uh, much more rusty piece but here uh, compared to the old one, it's uh, really good. So it works. I'm just gonna probably find the washing soda, the exact same one that they used in the Wood Magazine video, just to make sure that I'm starting on the same foot with them. That's the link for their video, go and watch it if you're interested in this process. 